Hi, Mr. Corsi here. We have a log question. Let's recall some of the laws of logs that we're going to be needing. Um, log of product of two numbers, sum of the logs. We're multiplying two numbers, we're adding the logs. Similarly, we're dividing two numbers and finding the log and we'll be subtracting the two logs. And finding the log of a power, we can put that power in front of the log. So log m to the power n, n times that. Um, these are basic laws of logs and we'll be calling upon them. There's several ways that we can do this question. First way would appear here that we're subtracting logs. However, that third is in the way. Let's go to this third law down here where if we have a number in front of a log, we can bring it up and it becomes the power of the number we're finding the log of. So this number at the front drifts up and becomes the power. Now, since we're subtracting two logs, we're dividing the numbers. So it's log to the base 5, 250, divided by 8 to the power of 3rd. Now, do we know what 8 to the power of 3rd is? Yes, we do. A third as a power. Remember, I sometimes like to think of it as the Irish power tree. 8 to the power 3. Roots at the bottom. And the tree gets its power through the leaves at the top. So when we've got 8 to the 1 third, we're finding the third root to the power 1. Raising something to the power 1 makes no difference. So 8 to the third is the cube root of 8. That's 2. And a half of 250 is 125. Now we either say to ourselves, what power do we raise 5 to to get 125? And the answer gives us 3. Or we can write 125 as 5 cubed and then bring that power down to the front and say to ourselves, what's the log to the base 5 of 5? What power do we raise 5 to to get 5? The answer is 1. So it's 3 times 1. So that's just 3. But you should be reading things like this as what power do we raise 5 to to get 125? What power do we raise 3 to to get 27? 3 cubed is 27, so the answer is 3. What power do we raise 2 to to get a half? It's minus 1. 2 to the minus 1 will give us a half. So we can read... Uh, things like this and evaluate them straight away. Power to raise 5 to, to get 125, the answer is 3. So there's one way of doing this. Second way we could do this is to say to ourselves, well, what about factors of 25? 250, that's 25 times 10. And again, let's just bring the third up as a power. Twenty-five times five times two. That's five squared times five times two. And in this case, we know that eight to the third is two. It's a cube root of eight. And here we've got five cubed times two. And product of these two numbers, so we'll add the logs. So it's log to the base 5 of 5 cubed plus log to the base 5 of 2. And look, there's a log to the base 5 of 2 subtracting log to the base 5 of 2, whatever these are, they're equal, so they vanish. And log to the base 5 of 5 cubed, bring the 3 down to the front, 
What power do you raise five to to get five answers once of three times one, which is three as before? So there's a second way of doing it. Elements of the first way are in there. But there's three laws that you should memorise and know how to use. So that's question six answered. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.